Um, continuing in the previous videos, I will talk about the supersymmetry algebra uh, as extensions of the Frankel algebra. Uh, today's topic is about the uh, supersymmetry algebra through with the G2 graded extension. Before we start about the, what is this supersymmetry algebra, uh, first talk about the uh, definitions of the real algebra. Uh, the real algebra L as a, defines as a vector space with the commutator of the generator basis. Uh, the commutator strips the generator G1 and G2 that depends on G1 minus G2, G1, G2 minus G2, G1. And uh, so the commutator is a relation satisfied the Jacobi identity trivially. So the uh, First of all, G2, G3 commutators and the commutators between the G1s and the uh, including com uh, commutators and the permutations of the index become to zero. And the, uh, by the some of the uh, theorem of the physics and the mathematics, the extensions of the Frankel algebra uh, with a good property like the Laurent invariance unitality sort of the S matrix uh, is uh, only the dialect product with the other algebra L prime, it's so internal symmetry. Such so L prime is the represent the internal symmetry, uh, but the extension of the Frankel algebra algebras as the external spice term symmetry, so actually the such isolated. This is called the Coleman Mandela theorem. So the, for the uh, element, G is in the L0 Frankel algebra. Uh, there are commutative relations of the Frankel algebra L0 and the commutative relations of the internal symmetry L prime. But the uh, commutator between the L0 and L1 element are G. So they are uh, as light as each other. But the, there are other theorem, Huang Lubosky Sunos theorem. Uh, which is the other possible way to uh, extensions of the Frankel algebra using the G2 graded. So there are uh, G2 graded real algebra of the Frankel algebra so exist. Uh, so the uh, such a G G2 graded algebra is written by the uh, Ibn's uh, algebra and the old part of the algebra, a direct sum of them. And the Frankel algebra so corresponds to the uh, such is uh, even algebra. So the uh, generators in the even algebra, there are uh, uh, commutated relations inside of the LGU. So the even and the even commutators of the two even generators uh, yield that the even. But if we consider that the uh, commutated relation inside of the old algebra, then the anti commutators of the old generators and the old generator. Uh, should be considered and the result becomes the even generator. So it seems like the G2 uh, group, so old plus old becomes the even. And if we consider that the uh, mixed commutator relation between the even generators and the old generator, uh, then the commutator relation of the even and old generators turns out old. Also, it seems like the even plus old, uh, it becomes the old generator. So, uh, we can generalize the commutator, uh, including the anti-commutator. So if the uh, two elements, G1 and G2, are inside of the old algebra, then the, uh, it becomes the anti-commutator, and the, uh, otherwise it becomes the just the commutators. And the Jacobi identities are also generalized. Uh, there are additional sign uh, for same equations on the uh, index exchanges. So the such is signs that determined by the uh, first elements and the third element. So if the uh, first and third elements, uh, either one is a uh, old generator, this sign becomes a minus one. And that's the exchange of the uh, permutations, one index of the one, two, three, two, three, one, and three, one, two. For example, why is such a science uh, necessary? Uh, consider uh, following the uh, specific case of the generalized Jacobi identity. Uh, in this case, the G3 
and the G2 the old generator. So this should be the anti-commutator. And the, this is the old generator. So the it becomes the old. So the this should be the anti-commutator, old and the old. And the, this is also old. So even and old becomes the old. And the old generator, old generator, this not should be the anti-commutator. And the I think all right, so the old generator is uh, Li and Lk. So uh, I think this should be the minus sign here. Minus plus because the uh, this is the old, uh, this is the old and this is the even. So that this should be the minus sign. So if we change the uh, index two and three, this should be the changes. So this and this are changes, and uh, they are changes to uh, each other. Uh, so this is minus plus here. If we uh, want to same results of the uh, Jacobi identity, it can be just exchange because this is non decommutator and uh, we can exchange this a bit uh, like that because it is the commutator G1 and G2, and just switch one. And if we exchange up to this term and this term, then it uh, give the same Jacobi identity, so it becomes a chip. So the such uh, sign for the both and third element uh, is necessary uh, to satisfy the same equations through Jacobi identity. So now let's consider that the, how can we extend the Frankler algebra by using the such a G2 T3 algebra. So in the Frankler algebra, we already know that there are two kinds of generators. One is called the corresponding Lorentz algebra, a generator M menu, and the one is the translations. Uh, generate is, uh, is a momentum supply chain. And the uh, uh, such a minimum and the momentum generators are included in the even uh, Frankler's algebra. And we can introduce sort of the old generator supercharge QA with index with the one, two, three, four, uh, which corresponds to the spinner uh, for component. We will be see that uh, in the next video, uh, how can the supercharge the light is through the spinner. Uh, so the uh, today's uh, the remaining parts are focused on the commutated relation for the supersymmetry algebra. So we already know that the commutated relations of the uh, generator in the Frankel algebra in the previous video. Uh, now the, we want to assign the commutated relations the, between the supercharges and the commutated relation between the Frankel algebra generators and the supercharge. Uh, there are three points to derive sort of the commutator relation for the two tall supersymmetry algebras as a G2 graded extensions. Uh, the first one is that it satisfies the Lorentz covariant, so the menu such an index uh, from the uh, generator M menu, P Lu, and there's some gamma matrix, uh, so that's three. So gamma matrix actually comes from the spinner uh, related to the supercharge. And also it should be satisfied the GT grade algebra. So the even even commutator becomes the even, and the commutator of the even order becomes the old, and anti commutators of the old orders should be the uh, even. So uh, we can construct the uh, satisfying the following uh, GT grade the algebra. And this the generalized Jacobi identity should be satisfied. So there are some restrictions to uh, satisfy that these three condition, and there are also some of the uh, conventional uh, cho uh, choosing of the tensions. So first of all, uh, let's consider about the complete relation between the uh, generator M menu and the supercharge QI. So uh, by the Lorentz covariant and also the uh, GT Grides algebra, uh, the results of the complete between admin and the QI should be the QB uh, because the uh, even and the old yield that old uh, for the commutator relation. And the, by using the Lorentz covariant, uh, there are a menu index in here. So the, we can uh, instance that the uh, sigma menu, which is commutator relation uh, of the gamma mu and the gamma nu. And there are index for the supercharge A and B. And the, uh, now the remaining thing is uh, this ship the satisfying the uh, Jacobi identity. So consider that the uh, three elements, G1s, 
equal to the arm menu g2 equal to the arm row sigma and the g3 becomes the super charge and the following Jacobi identities that are satisfied if we start the commutative relation between the arm menus and the qis the things like that so and the second thing the commutative relation between momentum uh, generated p mu and the super charge and the, uh, also similarly, the commutator between the even and all generators should be the odd. So the positive generator series, the QB, should be charged in the right hand side. And the, by the Roland covariance, the positive uh, coefficient is the gamma matrix and the gamma vibe matrix, and also the ship charge index, the A to the B. And the, there are Jacobi identity, two Jacobi identity. Uh, the, First one is uh, two elements, uh, momentum, and the uh, other one is the supercharge. And the uh, second one is the, there are M menu, P menu, uh, supercharge. So uh, three different kinds of the elements in Jacobi identity. And if we calculate the both uh, restrictions, then the uh, coefficients, the X and the Y, both the gamma matrix and the gamma five, should be the two. So the uh, competitive relation between the uh, momentum and the super charge becomes such that they are commute each other. And the, the remaining thing is the inside of the uh, old algebra, so competitive relation between the super charges. Uh, they are both uh, all generators, so that we should consider anti commutators between them, and the result should be the even generator. So the possible even generator is the momentum, so and the uh, uh, generators are being used in the right hand side. And the, the coefficient should be decided by the Roland covariant. So the coefficients of the momentum generator is the gamma matrix, and the uh, coefficients of the generator and menu is the gamma menu, or sigma menu. So, and then to satisfy the, uh, there are the two index of the super charges, A and B. So that there are uh, matrix elements index A and B through the gamma matrix. And then to uh, satisfy the symmetries uh, of the, such a matrix uh, under the exchange of the index and A and B, there should be the charge conjugation through parameters uh, should be the necessary. And there are three possible Jacobi identity. Uh, one P and two supercharge, and the one M and the two supercharge, and the three supercharge of the elements in the generalized Jacobi identity. And it yield that the coefficients asked become the zero, and that there are no restrictions on the R, but in the conventions, R is just that to be the minus two. So the, we can, uh, of time, the, the full commutative relations of the supersymmetry algebra. The first three lines that already we discussed as the Poincare algebra commutative relation uh, generates M and the momentum P. And the, uh, the second ones, uh, second three lines that are corresponding to the uh, additional extension uh, commutative between the uh, M menu P, loose, P mu and the supercharge and the anti commutative that are between the supercharges. And there are some of the remarks on the such extension. First of all, in the binary line, uh, the anti compare between the uh, shipper charges, so we can uh, do the dimension analysis. Uh, in the right hand side, the momentum is the uh, mass dimension, the one. So the shipper charge, the one shipper charge should be the uh, mass dimension one half. It seems like uh, behaves like the spinner. So the uh, such a shipper charge is related to with the spinner. Uh, so the, in the next times, uh, I will deduce about the explicit form of the super charge generator or uh, as an open old, uh, old algebra in the uh, supersymmetry. Uh, and the, such a super charge is the, actually the, uh, written by the derivatives of the Grassmann variable. Uh, it seems like the other thing, uh, the momentum is uh, generated uh, given by the derivatives of the position and the spins to operate as the derivatives of the rotational angle. So in the next time, I will uh, derive the explicit form of the supercharge by using the Grossman numbers and the spin uh, formalism. And also, uh, 
like as the uh, previous video, uh, we will uh, induce the cosimilar applied to streptocyphosimilar three algebra. So, which is a representation invariant state uh, in the supersymmetry, and uh, it yields that actually the supercharge uh, transform between the boson states and the Bellman state uh, by using the discussed similar operator of the supersymmetry algebra. 